Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Okami Den. In the last episode, we got ourselves a ton of collectibles. We helped out a crane. We found out that cranes are apparently all powerful shapeshifters of doom. And we made it to Agata Forest, which is flooded for some odd reason. And in this episode, I say we explore what has become of Agata Forest and see if we can purify this area. What am I going to do? I lost my home to that flood. And now this. I put those demons are to blame for this. But what's up? Oh, okay, really quick. That's weird. The camera's like inside the water down there and you can see below it. That's really weird. You know, this place isn't free from excitement. I can't believe this. I wanted to make my son a fishing pole. But all my fishing equipment has been stolen. I really wanted to see my son, see a smile on my son's face, but bummer. Okay, Mutt, let's go find the stolen fishing equipment. Really, you'll do that for me? Thanks. Here's a list of stolen equipment for you to check out. Alright, that is so weird. It's kind of funny because uh, graphical glitches caused by emulators was the reason that I worked so hard on getting a DS recording setup that would be from the actual console, which is what I'm using for this. And it's kind of funny that we had a graphical glitch pop up only 12 episodes in, despite the fact that I'm playing this on a real disc. Because you can see I'm talking to him from other angles and it's not doing it, so it was just outright that the camera was positioned just right that it was inside the water, so it's kind of weird. Right there we have a small curse stone that we can bloom. Too bad we can't just do that for the whole area. We get some praise from it. And now we head over here. There's nothing for us over there, so let's come around. Let's barely avoid that enemy. I didn't even have to use a power slash. Head around here. Head into this cave. I know, so convenient that the trees just happen to be floating by in the perfect sequence that we are able to get in here. Forest, man. Freaky. I bet all this flooding is because we somehow angered that giant catfish. Hmm, there needs to be a sacrifice to appease him. A sacrifice? What are you talking about? Um, one, two, three, not it. Okay, I, I couldn't really think of anything better to say there than that. So, over here we have a chest which contains a bear carving. That's a new artifact that we haven't previously gotten. Right over here we have another girl. I bet you're secretly a crane, woman. I'm just really worried about how I get to force to turn into a curse zone. No one knows how to lift the curse. And now we see the Guardian Sapling has lost all its beautiful flowers. I wish I could do something about it. Don't worry. Mutt and I will take care of it. So, on my first playthrough, this stumped me to no end. I kept pulling up my brush and drawing a circle around it, and it just never worked. I was just like, seriously, I've tried this like 30 times. How come I can't draw a freaking circle? I'm not that bad at them, I swear. Well, after I walked up to it for like the 10th time, I saw it has press A to examine. So, you have to talk, or rather, not talk to the tree, check the tree with A, and then you can draw the circle around it. So, let's draw the leaves in, and there we go! Well, duh, Cooney, why do you think they're called Great Divine Interventions? <laughs> anyway, with that out of the way, we have restored Agatha Forest back to its former glory once again. So we're going to end this video off here. No, we're not. Okay. We get a lot of praise for doing that. More importantly, well, what do I mean more importantly than bringing back nature to the world? More importantly, we have Masterpiece Part 2 right here. Duh, huh, huh. So we have that to, for us. So we have another recent Masterpiece Part 2. Let's talk to you. But look, the Guardian Sapling is in bloom again. So that means the forest is free of the curse as well. Nice job, Mup. We did it. So now we can go ahead and take off. Well, not really take off out of Agata Forest, but we can take off out of this cave and see Agata Forest. Well, it doesn't seem unflooded, but we can see it. Flooded, just not cursed. Then again, some people would consider Flood's a curse. I don't know. Don't ruin my enthusiasm. The curse zone is gone. We should be able to get to the other side. So, we saw that we have to get some fishing equipment for that man. 
he wanted to help out his son by getting his fishing equipment together. He wanted to see his son's face light up. Over here we have a new location. Where could something this big have washed in from? This actually is not something that washed in from. This is a new structure that was built in Agata Forest, which is a pagoda. We can't, we can't find our way into it right now, but up on this roof, you want to grab this. This is a history scroll. This is a scroll that meant, talks about the Spider Queen that we fought in Agata Forest in our first adventure. So I want to go check that out really quick just because it's kind of the first instance of, a, of us finding a history scroll because we started with all these history scrolls. This is the first one that we actually had to find and this history scroll is missable and you have to get all the scrolls if you want to be able to get 100%. So that thing gives me some major heebie-jeebies. Who knew such a big old spider was hiding out in Nagata Forest? She swallowed Ami whole with one attack and then spit her out. So a bit of a flashback to Okami right there. Again, kind of cool. Not really overly necessary, but if you want to get 100%, it's there for you to get 100%. So we want to bloom that, get some water lids for us to run across. Now, a lot of people are telling me, like, hey, you know, point out that you can't swim like you can in Okami. Well, technically that's true. You can't swim when you want to, but there are instances of swimming in okami din, so I can't really say that you can't. There's a cursed beat over there. We can't get it ourselves. That's why we have to find out why Agatha Forest is like this. So, we can't get that bead to open up the pagoda on our own. So, unfortunately, as I'm saying that, this is not one of those times where we can actually swim because, well, we want to. We blow up that whatever it was that was blocking that log. It was like a random block of wood. I don't know what that's from, but hey. Now, I do want to warn you. If you have not gotten all the collectibles from the Cave of Nagi slash River of Heavens area. Don't go further than this, okay? Because there's an NPC that you are gonna talk to beyond here. I'll let you know which NPC it is when we get there. That's in this next map. Once you talk to her, you are unable to go back to the Cave of Nagi slash River of Heavens. That is the event that closes it off from you and makes you unable to get the collectibles. I show all the collectibles in it, I didn't miss any, so if you're following along, you should be okay. We head in here and... We gotta find the source of that smoke that Kuni was talking about as I was talking over him. So, let's head over here. Hey, someone's fishing! Check it out! Kokari, the son of Karude, the guy that we want to get that fishing club for. Who are you? Haven't seen your face around these parts before? I'm Kuni, and this is my pal, Mutt. Apparently, Chibi's proud of that name now. Ha, huh, well, I'm Kokari, and this is Ume. So, what are you fishing for? Not some ordinary mackerel. I'm after a monster catfish. M monster catfish? Yup. Going through this forest is the only way to get to and from the city in Shinshu Field. But, because of this giant catfish, it's not like this. So, I thought I'd catch it and help everyone. What a noble young warrior. Say, that's quite a fishing pole you've got there. Thanks, it's from my dad. So, does your dad fish too? No, my dad is a great hunter. But me, I like fishing more than hunting. Does it make your dad sad to hear you say that? I suppose. My dad made me for this fishing pole. He told me to use it to improve my fishing skills. What a nice dad. <laughs> I contributed to this conversation. Yeah, so I want to catch that catfish with a pole my dad gave me. I know I can do it as long as I have this fishing pole. So, positive cutscene there. Kind of sad at first, but I like it. Shh, stop barking, you'll scare the fish. Sorry for the trouble. He'll be quiet too, right, Mutt? Wait, he... I like how Cooney was saying that he was sorry for the barking, and he's like, hey, Mutt will be quiet too, so... <laughs> I don't know. Bow, you, I know your scent. Looks like he likes you. So, I suppose it's a bit of a hint to the fact that he knew Ami, but... Not really much else to say about that. We got an area that we can blow up with Cherry Bomb right here. Which will get us... 
the fishing pole, which I don't know why we need to get him another fishing pole because he kind of already has one, but that is the first collectible for Karude's fishing equipment. So up here we have an eastern signboard. I came back to Agata Forest like this after all this time. Looks like a giant monster catfish has made its home here. It's like strange things have been happening all over. Take these. You look like you need them. So it'll give us some ink pots just for reading the sign. We don't need to use Power Slash on it because we got those. All right, now that that is over, we need to keep going throughout here. Now, we haven't fought another yellow imp yet, and that's actually something that I'd like to show because there's something that we can do with them now that we couldn't do before. But if we head over here... It, it's a mermaid! Wow, I've never seen one before. Oh, a puppy! It's you! What, you know Mutt? Of course I do! We're friends! Hey, Squiddy! Oh! Squiddy! Ah, oh, poor Chibi! What's wrong? It's me, Nanami! You don't remember me? And again, somebody recognizes Chibi, but he doesn't recognize her. Now you're with another friend, I see. Whatever happened to the fr your friend with the blonde hair? Again, nothing is ringing a bell. Anyway, whatever. I have my hands full of my... I have my hands full myself today. With what? A very important treasure was stolen. And it's my job to get it back. I like how her hair looks, by the way. It looks so cool how her hair is water. That is just the coolest looking thing I've ever seen. Treasure, I'd like to help you get it back, but... Water, there isn't much we can do. Now, Art of Nanami was actually released prior to the release of Okami Din, and in my Okami Let's Play, I said that you will actually get to see Otohime's uh, daughter in Okami Din. A lot of people thought in the fandom that that was outright the Dragonian princess. Nanami is not. She is just merely of the Dragonian race, which we'll be learning a bit more about later. So, it's kind of funny because I've actually seen people on forums saying like, hey, I watched Tuka Conroy's Let's Play of that, and, you know, he's saying, like, you can find, you know, the Dragonian princess in Okami Jin, yet, you know, I didn't find anything, but does he know something I don't? But no, it's just the fact that I was wrong. So, most of the fandom thought the same thing, but we were all wrong, guys. I would save right there, but I actually don't really feel like it. So, inside this tent is the cutoff point. After you enter this tent, you can no longer get stuff in the Cave of Nagi. Bye, Cave of Nagi! Or rather, Cave of Susano as it is now that we defaced Nagi's grave. Let's just talk to her. I am Madame Vaughn. These bones know all, and the future I do see. Even the great Amaterasu relied on my prophecies. I think we actually did use her one time in Okami, so that is kind of true. Hmm, 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 I sense a bad aura coming from you. Pay me and I will tell you your fortune. Sure. Ha ha ha, allow me to decipher your future with these bones. Hmm, hmm, yes, I can see something. Yes, I see it. Five blue fairies standing out against the night sky. Use them to make a star, and with it, you shall find the sea treasure. That is all I can tell you. The sea? Did that mean Anami? Could that mean Nanami is searching for treasure? The rest is up to you, and since you are my first customers in a long time, please accept this parting gift. But remember, it's only a one-time deal. You drive a hard bargain, Madam Fawn, but I already paid, so we get a white cloth. That is just a regular key item. Can't really do anything with that quite yet. It's just a white cloth. Ha ha ha, the time will come when you will need this. In the not-too-distant future. Stop talking and take it with you. Thank you. An unavoidable, difficult farewell awaits you. When that time comes, hold fast on to your heart and press on. Eerie. It's already dark. The forest is really creepy at night. Hello? 
What's that? Five blue fairies? Madame Fawn said something about using the fairies to make a star. So, using the power of rejuvenation, we fill them in. I don't think there is any game that has drawing mechanics where you don't draw that shape. It's just kind of a law that if your game is drawing mechanics, you have to draw the five-sided star. Mutt, look, there's an entrance! But where... where does it lead? It leads to Bark. Yes, we should go in. What? Me? Scared? No way! I'm not scared at all! Uh, it's just... I don't really believe in prophecies and spells! Trusting in prophecies won't make you into a hero! 